Thomas Christopher Collins. Toronto Archbishop Thomas Collins is now Cardinal Collins, a prince of the Catholic Church, and at 65, a young entry into the exclusive male-only club that will elect the next pope. Each of the 22 men made cardinal today received a cardinal ring and the hat known as a birretta. The Pope explained the red of the birretta and cardinal robes symbolize blood and willingness to die for the Church. Among the more than 200 Canadians attending today's ceremony was an official delegation led by Finance Minister Jim Flaherty. Both men say it's an honour for Canada. Well, I think it's very important. Uh, it's a recognition by the Church that Canada plays a very important role. Collins is the 16th Canadian to become a cardinal. Only two others are living, Cardinal Marc Willette of Quebec City and Jean-Claude Turcotte of Montreal. As Archbishop of Toronto, Collins will still head up the biggest and most multicultural archdiocese in the country. And now as Cardinal, he's also an advisor to the Pope and will be spending a lot more time at the Vatican. And here is Cardinal Thomas Christopher Collins, the Archbishop of Toronto. Archbishop Annulum di Mano Petri. Et novus dilectione principis apostolorum, dilectionum tuam erga ecclesiam roborari. Ad honorem de omnipotentis, et sanctorum apostolorum Peter et Pauli, tipicum itimus titulum sancti patricii, ad locum virgo villa ludovisi, in nomine Patris et Fili et Spiritus Sancti. And Cardinal Collins has received the titular church of St. Patrick. Collins now joins an elite group of men, one of whom will eventually succeed the Pope as leader of the Catholic Church. And Finance Minister Jim Flaherty led the Canadian delegation to support Cardinal Tom Collins. He joins us now on the phone from Rome. So hello to you, Mr. Flaherty. Hi. So thank you for joining us. Now, obviously, our audience knows you as the Minister of Finance, but you were also raised Catholic. What was it like for you to witness a Canadian being given such a great honour? It, it was a, um, a momentous historic occasion, actually. Uh, Cardinal Collins is only the 16th Canadian in history um, to become one of, the, um, one of the members of the College of Cardinals. And, uh, you know, the, the, the Church is a global uh, institution, uh, that is a force for good in the world, and uh, Canada's brand globally is good, so it's great to have another, another Canadian leader in the global church. Now, much is said about Tom Collins and his calm and touch. You have now spent some time with the man. What do you have to say about Tom Collins and what makes him so appealing to so many people? Well, I've known uh, the Cardinal since he uh, came to Toronto five years ago or so. Um, he is a very humble man. Um, he's uh, very good at relating um, with people. He also is a very thoughtful person, a great reader, a reflective person, and that, that comes through in, in, uh, in his homilies and his statements to people and his communications here with him last night and with him again this afternoon. And we've been celebrating his uh, elevation to the College of Cardinals. He's an excellent um, communicator, and that's, uh, that's good for the Church. It's good for our country around the world. Now, I'm going to ask for you to describe for us here at home what the elevation ceremony was like. What did you see and what was it like to be in St. Peter's Basilica? Well, it, it's a, uh, it really is a, a spectacular uh, circumstance. Uh, almost all the members of the College of Cardinals are there. So it's very colorful, of course, uh, when they're, with their a lot of red and then a lot of archbishops and bishops and so on. And then Prime Minister Monti was there from Italy and many other uh, leaders from around the around the world, and we of course we all greeted each other. I know many of them from our time in in government in Canada. Um, Cardinal Wallet was there. Uh, Cardinal Turcotte from Montreal. We have uh, strong leadership um, in the Catholic Church in uh, in Rome, and and so it was a very um, touching experience. And the Catholic uh, presence from Canada was very strong. 
um, and was noticed by people at the Vatican that we had a we have a large contingent of Canadians who are here to uh, support the elevation of Cardinal Collins.